glad you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Go. I hate Nicole. I can't believe she lied to you about Derek. She's nasty that way. We talked last night till 2 a.m. Falling hard. Think you might be the one. Really? Excellent. You are such a babe. <laughs> Cigarette. Hi. Who would you like me to make this out to? You don't remember? I'm sorry. Do I know you? Uh-huh. I apologize, but... You picked me I... up one night, a couple months ago. I, I think you have me confused. 160 West 68th Street, apartment 2C. He had a roommate. We kept quiet. <sighs> now I know why you didn't call. Hi. Just remember to surface slowly. And while you're coming up, exhale the whole time. Or your vessels will expand and explode through your forehead? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you like this? Teaching? For the most part. I think I'd like to do more, though. How's Donnie? Confused, bipolar. I blame you. I really screwed that up, man. Such a jerk in school. Now you've changed? I'd like to think so. Haven't you? So, um, how come no one's heard from you all this time? I've kind of been doing the whole loser thing. I didn't see any reason to flaunt it. That was dumb. Come on, man, it's weird. You're like this big hot soap stud I couldn't even imagine. You have no idea. So tell me, you still getting all the chicks? Actually, I'm gay. <laughs> no, really, I am. I'm a raving homosexual. Completely closeted, fearful of exposure, but gay nonetheless. I have been my whole life. I just can't seem to deal with it. like freaking out right now, are you? Huh. Ah, it's cool. It's cool, man. Hey. Sorry about the other day. The job thing kind of, you know. No, I don't know. What kind of gets in the way? Well, if you're going to sleep with people you don't know, you got to be ready for anything. I'm sorry I didn't call you. We had a good time that night. You lied to me. Told me you were a doctor. I am. On the show. <laughs> Look, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Can I make it up to you? See you sometime? You've obviously mistaken me for a closeted, dysfunctional, socially unenlightened, non-committal, confused, unevolved homosexual. That would be you. Here you go. Thank you. Russ, I was just uh, curious about this whole gay thing. I was wondering why you had to lie about it. Because I can't think of one case of a soap actor, leading man type that has ever risked coming out. And I don't want to be the first case subject. I have a female fan base, and I love what I do too much. But when did you figure it out? I mean, that you were gay. In college? Yeah, but we were roommates. I mean, kind of close, right? I mean, how come you never said anything? I didn't know how to. I never suspected it for a minute. Oh, we were both too busy being ladies' men. Yeah, and what was that all about? I mean, how can you be sleeping with women if or when you know that you're... Ty, I'm gay. Not dead to the world. You could have said something. I mean, I hope that you didn't think that I wouldn't have understood. I didn't understand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, Justin. <laughs> How, how did, how did you know my name? I, 
the new tag. <laughs> you okay? You seem a little nervous. Uh, I have an audition today. Really? You an actor? Uh, I don't know. I don't like to call myself one until I start getting paid, you know? Yeah. I'm sure it's only a matter of time. You certainly got the looks. <sighs> Thanks, man. Thank you very much. That means a lot coming from you. I think, uh, I think you're really great on Hampton Shores. Thanks. Most of my fans are little old ladies from Jersey. Yeah. Well, I'm not a little old lady, but I'm a big fan, man. Uh, you're not a bad looking guy yourself. Hey, Cross. Um, I'm sorry, I'm late. Just let me know when you're ready. Did you see that guy flirting with me? Missed it. That, that guy was totally flirting with me. Why don't you ask him out? <laughs> not possible. Why not? My boss just did it. Just asked me out. It seemed pretty simple. That's nice, but I don't date. Why not? Gay guys don't date? No, gay guys date. I don't date. Do you know how much I'd like to go on a real date with a normal man? So what's stopping you? Fear of rejection, fear of being outed and ruining my career, fear of commitment. Fear of. Oh, so, in other words, uh, you'd rather be safe, miserable, and alone rather than do something really scary like ask a waiter out on a date. Hey, <clears throat> where are you guys? You ready to order? Yeah, I think Russell's pretty sure what he'd like. <laughs> yeah? I was wondering maybe if uh, you could bring us some crushed red pepper. Would you like some actual food first? Or... <laughs> right. Uh, food, of course. Um, we're still deciding. Can you give us five minutes? Sure. I didn't like this place the first time. I think the croutons tasted weird. Well, I thought it was pretty good. Would you just ask the waiter out already? I'm not coming back a third time. It's not that simple. There's a lot of issues that have to be considered. Besides cowardice. Wait, come on, man. This isn't brain surgery, Dr. Hutch. This is dating. Oh, you want cowardice? I I'll show you cowardice. Hey. Hey, guys, back again, huh? Hey, um, how was your audition? My audition? I got a call back. Oh, yeah, you might just be looking at the future tomato number two on a national raku spot. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I think uh, you were my lucky charm. So, Russell, you want to ask Justin for some more crushed red pepper? Actually, Justin, <laughs> uh, as a way of saying uh, congratulations on your callback. One actor to another and all. Uh, I was just wondering if maybe you'd like to uh, have dinner tonight. I mean, it'll be a group thing. Ty here will be there with Ty's friend. Friends having dinner. <laughs> that sounds great, man. I'd love to. Great. All right, dinner tonight. All right, um, let me get you some money. I'll be right back. Group thing? <laughs> oh, Justin, don't be so modest. A reviewer comparing you to a, a young Robert Redford is a compliment. You know, I don't know about the, the fame thing, right? I'm a method actor. I don't go in it for the glory. <gasps> you are a true artist. Thank you. Those beautiful eyes, though, seems like a sin not to put them up on the big screen. You know, you have very beautiful eyes, too. <laughs> yes, you do. God. I didn't mean to offend <laughs> Were you, uh, were you ever a model? <laughs> Seriously, you definitely a model. Justin. You could. So. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Have some crumbs right there. <laughs> That's it. Justin, can I see you in private for a moment? <sighs> this light just keeps getting better and better. What the hell is going on? Flirting? Right? You're my date. You're supposed to be flirting with me. I thought we were on a date. Give me a break. Oh, God, you're you're gay? What? <laughs> and Hampton Shores is gay? <laughs> hmm. You never said anything about a date. I mean, can't you tell I'm straight? Well, when I said that you were calculating, I just meant that you probably think too much. All I thought was that if maybe we came buddies, you could help me get an audition. Justin is just so 
goal-oriented and successful. I mean, I bet you don't know how to be truly spontaneous. <laughs> That's such a great idea. It's so spontaneous. <laughs> I ask you out, so you decide to bring along an entourage? Look, man, I'm really sorry, all right? I didn't know you were gay. So, uh, going Dutch? What do you know? I forgot my wallet. How truly spontaneous of me. Clearly, we're not getting it off, so let's just call it dinner with friends. Could we get uh, some more ice for her? Good luck, buddy. Thanks for a lovely evening. You're not really good at dating, are you? And you are. <laughs> <sighs> this is possibly the best date I've ever had. You know, I seriously thought she was going to start making out with him right at the table. What about his method acting? What if she finds out he's a waiter and possibly a tomato? <laughs> What's wrong? Well, nothing. Just I'm the world's biggest idiot. Why? Because you took a chance to put yourself out there. You should feel good. What kind of chance did I take? If I'd have been straightforward with the guy in the first Very place... Very few people are straightforward when it comes to dating. I have never in my life been straightforward about anything. It's always going to be like this, isn't it? You'll get there. By the way, for the record, um, you and me tonight, this, uh, this wasn't a date. <laughs> <laughs>